What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to week three of low tier trade. We had to skip a week because some schedule stuff and yeah, I mean, like life just got in the way, but we're back last week, you know, me and Bryce or not last week, but last episode. It's it's is it, is it like I guess we can call it like a week because the way we do it is like weekly and then there are like yeah. two videos. So I guess last installment, we'll go with that. Uh, we showcased a Flapple team and a Toxtricity team. Bryce was the Flapple player, and lo and behold, Bryce won. So here's the code for you guys. Bryce, what is this? What do we have today? Uh, first of all, I can't see the screen, but oh, yeah. I know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, it. We got more Pico and some some quirky stuff, um, mainly hoping to catch the other players off guard. Uh, some some cool things about this team is the Spectrier can live in Astro Barrage from Life Orb. Or is it, maybe it's non-Life Orb. It's one of the two. I think it's Life Orb. Um, uh, Calyrex Shadow, which is pretty cool. How much um, special defense? Oh, it's Assault Vest. I was like, how much do you need yeah. to live that? And then I realized that Spectre actually has some like usable special defense. So it's not too out there. It's still a lot of, it's still a lot of investment. But yeah. um, in testing, yeah, it's been good against the special attackers for sure. Um, yeah. And then, of course, we got the good old weakness policy, Solgaleo, which mm -hmm. will be a lot better once Dynamax comes back. However, yeah, I did okay with it in the uh, things, but yeah, we got two bulldozers users, which is pretty funny. Yeah. Um, yeah. The, the Solgaleo, like how fast is that? Yeah, uh, we are at, I believe, 149, the magical number to be faster than anything. I yeah. haven't really lucky. So uh, like after a bulldoze, we'll be like faster than pretty much everything. Correct. All right, sweet. All right, I know. One more thing. We have to very much avoid getting hit by... <laughs> By Astro Barrage with their Solgaleo, right? Because it isn't like Dustman to Krasma. It doesn't have that kind of bulk. I'm assuming it won't live it. No, it has no chance of living. But we do have, of course, other than the Spectre Air that we just talked about, more Pico does pretty well. Because um, after one Aura Wheel, we get fast from it. And then we have Super Effective against it. And of course, Scarpente is always pretty nice as well. Yeah. Dang, more Pico is actually kind of interesting in this format. Mainly because, like, Aura Wheel, like, it's able to hit Spectre Air and I guess Kyogre on like alternating turns. So all you really have to do is just like stall out a turn and all of a sudden you're a threat to it again. Yes, and Protect's really nice for being able to kind of shift in between where you want um, yeah. to, to be, I guess. But um, a lot of the times it gets spam intimidated. Um, so Super Fang comes in handy, especially against those Incineroars. So we, yeah, yeah, we're looking to eat some of those guys alive. Okay. And also guys, new season. I haven't played too much since the beginning of the month. It's been, what has it been like 10 days? Yeah, it's October 10th. Yeah. Uh, so I'm still in great ball nine. I'll, I'll, you know, we'll get up there. It's not, it's not terrible, but <laughs> more Pico carry. Oh, no. Ultra ball oh, 10. Ultra yeah. Ball. We're almost there. We're probably going to get there like ha halfway through the video. I would assume like two more games and then, and then I'm in there, you know, you got um, faith in more Pico. I got some faith in more Pico. I've used it before. Also full disclosure. I am exhausted. I had a bit of a weekend and then I stayed up all night playing Metroid Dread 10 out of 10 game. Make sure you do it. Don't do it how I did it, where you stayed up from, like, 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. So, Bryce, you're going to have to babysit me a little bit this video. <laughs> Easy. I, I got this. My reason-making, my, my decision-making skills are, are not as high as they usually are. And they're not typically that <laughs> high. <laughs> they're not typically that high. It's fine. It's low-tier trade. We make we make the content plays. It's fine. Yeah. So whatever you do, it'll be the right play. Five I'm gonna I'm good. gonna click fake out turn two. Um, that might not be the right play, but okay. Uh, I'm gonna go for a triple protect. <laughs> yes. I mean, sometimes that's the play. Sometimes. If you have, if you have the magical Ferrothorn lead seed. Yep. Oh, oh here we go. Well, uh, so I I mean we have protect on Solgaleo, right? Uh, I believe I believe so. Yes. So technically, couldn't we? Protect Solgaleo turn one, bulldoze, and then bulldoze a second time. That way, Solgaleo will still move before the... Now, I mean, obviously, like, this isn't what we want to do on lead, but I mean, like, is that an option? Like, just double bulldoze, but make sure you protect the first one just to slow down the um, Calyrex. That is an option. Of course, there's a million factors here. One, the Calyrex player probably doesn't let Spectre Air attack. Yeah. Or, like, they either protect or switch or something. Yeah. Um, that's what I've ran into a lot. And second of all, they have the Tailwind, so... Yeah, that's that's another thing that's kind of annoying here. Uh, what are you thinking on lead? I'm thinking more Pico Ente, as they're our best Calyrex kind of stuff, and mm -hmm. then... Oh, 
I think we definitely still bring Solgaleo. Yeah, I think so. And then Spectre still as well. And then, yeah, hope our Yeah, they kind of have a lot for Finny here. Like, I, at first I was like, maybe Finny? Just because it can eat a hit from, like... Um, I, I keep wanting to say Spectre from, like, Calyrex, but yeah. they, they kind of got a lot for it. They got Nihiligo. They got, to an extent, Whimsicott if they're running, like, the rare grass coverage Whimsicott. <laughs> and yeah, so uh, Rillaboom, starting, obviously. Uh, grass not Whims is starting to really come alive, which is annoying. But, of course, we don't really have... Um, we don't have the one... What's it called? The, the guy, the guy, the Kyogre. The guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, right. It's crazy. Imagine going back in time and telling people, yeah, in the year 2021, uh, Whimsicott's best item is a Rocky helmet and its best move is Grass Knot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so there's a couple things we could do here. We uh, can either fake out the Ensign and try to stomping tantrum the Nihiligo, or we can fake out the Nihiligo and switch into the Steel type, which I think is a little bit better. Yeah, um, I think they probably wouldn't let us take Nihiligo at this point. Uh, and if they yeah. did let us fake out, there's a chance it's like Sash. I mean, they typically run Meteor Beam, but so Galia just straight up isn't threatened here. So yeah, or at least like the chances of them going for a Flare Blitz into so Galia are pretty much zero. Never, never zero, but approaching that. Yeah, and they're gonna get faked out too, and their incident might just go for a fake out over onto us anyway. Yeah. Oh wait. Uh, yep. Like on the more Pico. Interesting. Oh, no. I I I disagree with that play. Um, are you thinking what I'm thinking into the Incineroar? So, as awesome as Super Fang is here, we actually want to get one Aura Wheel just so we're faster than Calyrex Shadow. Um, you're right. You're and, right. Yeah. Always on. Uh, Nihilo yeah. Go. Oh. Yeah. Or I mean, if we want the chip, I I think Incineroar I is gonna stay in. Like it's not threatened. I, I think you go Night Legal because it's likely that thing is going to switch out to something that can. Or yeah. it's going to fake out or protect, but it's okay. Yeah. Uh, and you know what? Maybe Ensign's better then. Yeah, because I'm thinking they're just going to stay in and we can probably take it out with Aura Wheel Superpower. Yeah. Or Close Combat. Yeah. I they forgot it has it, better yeah. Superpower now. I, I remember in like 2019, <laughs> I ran like Superpower Sogalio. All right, nice. Perfect. I, so I don't awesome. think this KOs. I mean, it might. I don't know how much attack invest we have. Are we adamant? I think we're going to KO. This it's going to be close. Them. Okay, so we get our speed boost, which is great, and we can no longer get intimidated, which is awesome. Oh, that thing's gone. Yep. Um, the problem we'll have now is we'll probably have to do a turn of double protect, and then, and then it gets dicey from there. But at least we don't have to deal with um, we don't have to deal with um. God, my names are. <laughs> you, you said you're the one that's tired, dude. I, I we're both like on our last straw here like we're just like <laughs> i'm just always this bad with names we're but, currently yeah. we currently are like sharing a brain cell and we left it in the car like it's like <laughs> we didn't bring it into the match um just, okay. I, I mean the place objectively double protect right yes and then just we'll see who they protect this turn and if they don't protect anything we have to make a we have to make a play <laughs> but hopefully we don't have to make a play hopefully they'll just protect something and then it's like a free ko I think it's more likely that they will attack with Calyrex here. Yeah. Me, me, um, he just it. Chances the Calyrex is Sash. I mean, we can't find out this turn since we're not letting him attack us. I'll, I'll tell you right now, a plus one. I mean, sorry, a minus one. Um, ooh, that's a good play from them. Oh, wait, not as bad. Mm, yeah, I think I actually feel really safe here. <laughs> um, Dark, dark or wheel. Minus one, it's not going to kill Calyrex. <gasps> they protect the Calyrex. Oh, nice. That's really All right, so okay. uh, we have an objective correct play this turn. Double. Yep, double the Calyrex, Sunsteel Strike, and yes. Aura Wheel. They have n I... We take something regardless. Um. Yeah, but we could also lose both if they just double attack two. This is true, and also if they're Sash. I think we kind of have to... Let's look at their team comp real quick. I think we can win with Entei, so it's okay if Solgaleo is yeah. here. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say we don't necessarily need Solgaleo. Like, uh, like Scarf Entei just is such a good tool here. Let's hope yeah. they're not Sash so we can just Come be on. safe. Come on, Pico! Okay, they're fine. Oh, yeah. Pico! Yeah, that's why I went for Sunsteel really Strike. Kill. Oh, no, there's how would it not? <laughs> it's, I don't know. It's, it's, the team lot. <laughs> it's a physical dark move onto a, onto a Calyrex. Like, there, <gasps> I, the, if, the, if it didn't KO, I'd want a refund on this game. Like, I would throw it away. <laughs> that's true. Hey, more Pico. More Pico doing what it does. 
where people i remember it used to be such a hype mod in the early series and then it fell off and it's still just really nice oh i've yeah. never seen this animation on the shiny version if you're not red pity you're not playing the game right that's true oh that does so much oh no that i wasn't even arena because we would be able to kill the uh yeah like i know that thing's at minus one but that's still resisted like it's crazy it did that much yeah so this is pretty much this is pretty much over yeah right. like scarfente like we just focused the urshifu here honestly they're, they're, they're well they're forced yeah they're forced to aqua jet here so yeah you can always go for the urshifu um i'm just gonna double up into it it's probably yeah safe. well yeah we can cc Entei's in the back that can win this too if we get rid of Hershey. Yeah, they probably Aqua Jet here. Yeah, unless they're Scarf, which they might be. No. Nice. Boop. Yeah, and we don't get nah. KO'd by Nihiligo. He's probably going to yeah, do a no chunk way. with Meter Beam, honestly. We are at minus oh, one no, special they went, defense. They went for it. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't know. They kind of had to. They're probably just hoping for a crit, but I don't think even like a crit at minus one yeah. will knock out a Solgaleo. I would have to agree with you. And then we have Scarfente that can win us this because now they don't even have Meteor Beam. Of course, they get self power gem and it'll probably yeah. kill us, but. That does a solid chunk. Okay, and get him. Get him, Red Kitty. Nice. Yeah, that was that was perfect. Yeah, oh, let's go more. Uh, I forgot. I mean, are we going to switch to the straw poll just for like the even voting? I forgot to mention if, that. If you want to do that, yeah. I'm, I'm going to say it's probably fine. more direct. We, we can try it. We, we, yeah. we can try it. So uh, update on the voting system. We're kind of concerned because there's this weird phenomenon that's been going on uh, with voting. And it's it's mainly that like the way that we did it in the past couple of videos was, oh, I hope I don't make the wrong play here. Uh, <laughs> you could have flexed and bulldozed too. I could have just to slow him down. And then, like, get the KO with the red kitty, but... but... If you crit... Actually, you could have killed yourself, because we're minus two. Yeah. You made the right play. So, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, in the past couple of videos, it has been heavily skewed towards my teams. He did manage to win this week. Um, however, for a while, it was looking like I was going to win. I was yes. really confused. I was like, how am I winning? Like, the Flapple team performed better, and it's just, like, <laughs> genuinely more hype <laughs> so we're, we were looking at it and it's it's a weird thing i kind of like figured out what the issue is so while how do i say it like bryce bryce's videos overall get less views but a higher amount of likes because not a higher amount of likes it's like more of a core audience yeah it's a proportionally core, higher amount core, of yeah. likes because people are incentivized to like um for the team and because there are lower views, the average like like per view is typically right. higher. Uh, so my team ends up winning on his channel uh, most of the time if we like kept doing it. While because my videos have more views, like there there's like a higher amount of there's a higher chance that like the views will outweigh like the likes by a much larger amount to the point where like it's it's always going to be slightly in my favor. So I think for this video we're just gonna like have a straw poll pinned <laughs> to the comments uh so that you guys can just like vote and yes make it so it's like it's it's one central place to vote still watch both the videos but yes. now you can leave a like on both and not yeah. worry the one <laughs> thing just, i'd be worried about like. the one thing i'd be worried about now yeah leave a like on both yeah. but uh is people only watch one and then leave a like oh no they like still gotta vote. check out both like we both got heat yeah. teams oh my god this this week is gonna be I mean, we just saw more Pico kill Calyrex, so... Yeah, I mean, no no spoilers, but you saw my team just now, so... <laughs> I did. I'm excited for it. Yeah, uh, you, you shouldn't be. <laughs> I mean, I went I went 6-1 and one on ladder. Like, the, I only played with that team so far this oh, season. Nice. But still, like, that was great ball. It doesn't exactly count. That's somewhat true. Yeah. I mean, to like be fair, Pico. like, it's, it's weird. I feel like the bottom of Master Ball is still, like, in an area where, like, eh, mm, eh, you know... I, it, I sometimes noticed. it sometimes it feels like the bottom of master ball isn't the best place to like test like you have to like get out of the bottom of master ball and get to like higher master ball to the point where you're like yeah this is a good team yeah and i've noticed a lot of shrinking like the player base has really shrunk in master ball like three thousand master ball is now not as good as it used to be it's more of the kind of the bottom range yeah which is crazy um, um i'm assuming right. spectre can eat a water spout like that just feels oh, yeah. standard but more pico I do like more Pico here for fake out and 
it's easy just to click aura wheel turn one, especially when they have something as yeah. as arena. It's like, oh, I wonder if they're gonna try to prevent the fake out, and then you just aura wheel. <laughs> Yeah, and so you could do something something like a Spectre We actually have Mudshot, which is really nice against Kelly. Ooh, yeah. I mean, uh, what's that thing called? Reggie. Thank you. Um, yeah, and and if if it all goes well, Sogaleo can come in and get the Bulldoze too. Um, you thinking think, this? Uh, yeah, probably Zarina. Just because, I mean, Zarina is always going to be phenomenal in a Kyogre matchup. So much to the point where Kyogre wants a Zarina next to it. So <laughs> Yes. Yeah, I, I guess, I, honestly, I think my biggest concern here is literally just going to be the, the Regilecki. It always feels like a problematic Pokemon, regardless of how well you prepare for it. Yes, but hopefully Spectre Air can get a nice mud shot on it, and we don't get Electroweb, but... Do you think it one-shots? Mm, I would nah. guess no, because I have almost no special attack investment. I figured. Yeah. Um, but most Leckies have physical defense rather than Spadeth. Spadeth you know, will defense. You know, for a minute, I was running Mudshot Thievil to... Uh... <laughs> Prevent really Regieleki from doing anything too annoying. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Much Interesting right. lead. I like this because we we have oh, yeah, out. we can't be faked out here. Or at the, at the very least, you'd have to fake out more Pico to do a fake out. But um, yes, this is so still I'm isn't it still isn't that great. But we can pretty much call a protect on the Lando here. I would assume. Um, yeah, we just gotta be careful because there's a lot that could happen. Yeah, this um, is this is a very neutral lead. Um, is what I'm scared about, so I, I would almost want to fake that thing out. Yeah, I guess I don't think that Lando does anything here too scary. Uh, yeah, you do you want to just snarl? Yeah. Yeah. Just snarl, just in case Lando does decide to attack. All right. Yeah. No protects. Uh, They're does. probably just going to Earth Power us. Yeah, it's not great for our Morpigo, but. Yeah, especially since Morpigo is real important here. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised they stayed in, but it's fine. I think we'll be able to... Ah. See, the problem is with Lando is it's flying in the air. Ooh, you know what? We turn Dark-type next turn. I kind of think we should deal with Lando. Yeah, the thing is, is we are minus one, but we can always Shadow Ball. We are faster. Um, yeah, I... Lando is like, not, however. It's not, yeah, because we didn't Aura Wheel turn one. Um, you can't protect it. Yeah, my main concern is a Snarl. I mean, we'll definitely live it, but it's not going to be fun. You could also shut up all the landy. Yeah, I mean, I figured I would. Oh, I was talking about like Incineroar snarling us. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, even Throat Trap would be very bad. That might just one shot us. So they yeah. protect here. Hmm, I'm trying to think what we could do. I'd like to save more Pico, but 40 kind of let it. I mean, judging by turn one, our opponent's actually playing pretty good. So we kind of have to go forward, assuming that they're going to try to make some reads. Yeah. I feel like turn one's like the Did most important turn for gauging your opponent. Yes. Snarl's not that bad. Again, we're not we're not in the business to uh, to do the damage. However, if we could actually get Solgaleo in here after another Snarl, that yeah, could be really nice. That's what I was thinking. So, um, I think you can still Snarl, yeah, and then try to Super Fang the Ensign. Like, we might lose yeah. a lot. Oh, you know what? Um, there's actually a chance we're faster than Lando. A lot of them are actually running Modest right now. It's very true. You I mean, try a Super Fang Shadow Ball. I kind of really want to do it. Try it. Are you sure? Worth it happens, it dies, right? Yeah, you're right, because we're going to lose it anyways. And, like, we're already at minus one, so we're not too concerned with getting the minus two. They might even switch here, too. Nope, they don't. Spectre here first. Maybe we'll get the drop. Wait, I just realized. Oh, wait, does this wait. break sub every time? Um, I forget the I forget the mechanic if it does half of the sub's HP or just, like, actually break sub. Why would they do that knowing we have Snarl? It's all right, we can Snarl next turn. Yeah. I mean, we All lose right. more Peko, but not terrible. I mean, we can protect the uh, the Lando this turn and just start clicking Snarl. Or not I Lando, the can... uh, the Solgaleo. You know what you can actually do? Is you can Snarl this turn and Rock Slide, and if they do Earth Power you, they're minus two. We're going to get the Weakness Palsy. Oh, true? And we have to Bulldoze if we need Speed Control. Yeah, I like that idea. And Rock Slide should take them both out, potentially. Well, I mean, it depends. Snarl goes through the sub, but... Yeah. Uh, so I'm kind of tempted to protect one more turn in Snarl. Or actually protect Shadow Ball. And then, because I think he might protect here trying to bait out. Um, I, would, I would still. You know, yeah, I'm going to Rock Slide. Yeah. I think Rock Slide. And Snarl. And yeah. Snarl. I, my main concern is like, because Snarl can't break a sub. Yeah, but 
They're minus two, and um, we can always protect the next turn if we need to. Plus, Broxide's going to break us out, right? True, yeah. And then Shadow Ball's like kind of free. Okay, they're attacking. Okay, let's see how much minus two does. If this does too much, then oh, yeah. it's not bad. It's a lot. <laughs> it is a lot. <laughs> minus two. We need this to kill Enzin, though. Um, at the very least, if we do manage to deal with this in a timely manner, you know, before Kyogre gets in, uh, we might be able to go for a Bulldoze play. Yes. Uh, it's just not enough on the Enzin, but we can't flinch. All right. The game's most Some faded. mechanic. Flinch. No. Nope. We didn't flinch. Oh, not yet. Uh, he's probably not in Shadow Ball range. Going to go out on a limb. <laughs> um, oh, he Flare Blitzed. And there goes our Pokemon. Hmm. Do we have one Pokemon on this entire team for Lando? Oh, <laughs> uh, I mean, it's not... Oh, we don't have a fighting move. <laughs> no. I was like, it's no, not no. over. Oh, there's no high jump kick. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna say we probably don't win this one. Probably just run, really. <laughs> you know Entire what? Event. No. This isn't the serious play. I just want to see if still, I can. I just want to see if I can go. cheese a KO. <laughs> Hopefully, they protect the Lando here, which I'd imagine they do. I mean, they should be switching it out at minus twelve, but they All right. protect anyway. Give me the crit. Honestly, if you kill this, this is actually winnable because you're gonna get a boost. But I doubt it. No yeah. crit. Uh, he might KO himself on Flare Blitz. Dude, what if I manage to get a double Snarl KO? That'd be pretty cool. Live. Wait, live? Always live? Living. I need you to live? Dang it! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I really wanted him to live there. Yeah. Alright, we got our yeah, berry. Yeah. Man, Lando was annoying. Yeah. I don't know. I think, I think maybe I probably should have just protected that turn. It just just to like somewhat decrease the damage and then we could have scouted if you wanted to flare blitz but yeah that's true not 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 maybe terrible you know maybe we could have just cc'd over on that right side and then we wouldn't have had to worry about the double up yeah uh you turn crit to win probably too slow but we can try it i i doubt this chaos for some reason i feel like it just doesn't from this oh no we manage it okay all right back to minus one well, spec did work. It's just everyone dying to Lando. Payback. Hello. Do we live this? We don't live this. We do not. Uh, if we if we, we if we can crit this and they're running Iron Ball Kyogre. <laughs> yes, and we still probably miss power up and lose. Oh. What if they're like Choice Bands Arena? <laughs> I'm joking, but we still probably die to a payback. All right, Iron Ball Kyogre. Iron Ball Kyogre. That's that's the win con. Yeah, I guess we needed to preserve. The thing is, this team doesn't do the preserving well. It's like hopefully you get the lead right. If not, good luck. So we like we have really no switchins to Orlando, right? Yeah, there isn't. I guess we could have gone Sarino, but there isn't much like um, this team doesn't feel pivoty. If that no. makes sense, it it definitely is. It feels more like a um, like a if you get the lead right, you're gonna have a great time. Yes. But like defensively, it has just like a minor issue in like trying to get things in safely. I wish our opponent knew to click the protect button in front of a fake out, but sorry. yeah, it, that that is also <laughs> that is also somewhat annoying. Oh, this is an Osiris team. Is it? Yeah, Leo huh. Osiris. Yes. I would imagine this is a team that he made. 252. Modest Lucky. Modest Lucky with no thought in the speed and tier. All right. Now we got to win again. Yeah, now we got to win again, dude. I'm trying to get into Master Ball tier. I can't be a YouTuber if I'm not in Master Ball tier, dude. <laughs> That's true. All right, this is going to be a more Pico game where we don't play against a Lando I that wants to hurt our family. That's a Lando T. It's even worse. <laughs> And see that now Feeny would have been really good in the start there because I didn't even bring Rilla. All right, uh, we avoided one of the genies, but we got two in exchange. Um, if I remember correctly, uh, most thunderous eye right now are choice scarf. Really? Yeah. I, it's been a minute since I played a thunder eye. Um, yeah, or a thunder T. I guess that's the word thunder T. Oh yeah, but I played a lot of assault best ones. You feel inspector? Honestly, I, I think we just do the same lead. 
do the same lead and hope it works better. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say the exact same team pretty much. Two, okay, yeah. Like Finney, you, you could make a case for Finney, but I think overall... I was, I was thinking Finney, but this team's worse against Finney than the, was the last one. That's true, that's true. Like, if we had led Finney and more Pico that last game, then we were in there. Yeah. Muddy Water into both of those Pokemon. Oh my god, dude, Finney actually would have been a game changer, now that I think about it. Yeah, and they didn't have Rilla, so it seemed like it would have been okay. Obviously, they did have the uh, Sirena, but... But Sirena's not even, like, too threatening for Finney. Like, you just have to make sure you don't stay in on, like, a Power Whip. And even then, if you do stay in on a Power Whip, you have, like, a 15% chance to live. Yeah. All right, Genie and Dark Fu. Um, I'm feeling Dark, this lead. I'm feeling this Dark lead. Fu, not great. This is where Feeny would be really, really good. But we yeah. Don't have it, so that's okay. I mean, we do have a switch in. No, we don't. Um, um, we could make the big brain gamer play and say that, um, Urshifu's banded. What does that mean? <laughs> That would mean we can fake out for free. Um, and then and then what? I don't know. <laughs> I feel like we have the aura wheel. Yeah, uh, we can't really protect here, but we also really shouldn't stay in. We're gonna we probably have to sack the. Yeah, I'm. I'm just gonna sack. Honestly, there. I feel like if you fake out, you can shadow ball something. It's 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 too late. <laughs> we oh, took a little yeah. too long. I kind of had to make a play there, or I kind of had to like just. Oh, they stopped that Sarina. Sarina, oh, we made the right play. Oh no, that's fine. Um, sucker punch. Oh, oh uh, this isn't Wait, unwinnable. Isn't this isn't unwinnable now. Critical hit it probably didn't matter, but uh, I did aura wheel him. I figured he'd go Zarina there if anything. Interesting that he went into this, but now we're faster than him. I don't know why you sucker punch Willow Wisp is the likely play. Yeah, he didn't. Um... Know. <laughs> he he just felt the AV deep in his heart. Okay. Um. We can go Zarina and try to like U turn on it. I, I, this is really rough. So maybe Zarina helping hand and just aura wheel the right side. And then. Yeah, and hope that he whatever. close combats and then we'll just live. Because then we'll be faster than him on the on the next turn. Yeah, and they can't use priority. Yeah, I like that. And they still could protect. So I like attacking the right side. And we're still strong because no one's going to. Come on, little Pico. And the more boost we get, because right now we're faster. If we get this next Aura Wheel, we're faster than Ogre in Tailwind. Yeah. I I'm more concerned with Urshifu at this point. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Uh, I'm hoping okay. he just CC'd us. Oh, uh, I did so much. It, man. I did so you much. See, if you wanted to be a good Pokemon more Pico, you'd live that hit. All right. Uh, you think he doubled? Probably. It's going to Electro Web. That's my guess. Sludge bomb. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. that's fine. That's fine. Winnable? Winnable? Um, winnable. Okay. I think I... he protects the Urshifu here, honestly. He can't sucker punch. Like, but it's. We can't, it's. We, we can't also hit, can't afford. To... We can't hit the right side anymore. Oh, that's true. So I think we go for the Urshifu. Yeah, <laughs> I could, we, could... You could double protect calling that. I mean, you could U-turn into the right side, protect. Which side? Right side. Uh, my concern is we need to keep Zarina in so we don't get sucker punched. I mean, you can hard swap it in next turn. Oh, you're right. You're right. Yeah, I'm going to do that then. Uh, I'm hoping he doesn't just try to CC us. <laughs> I'm hoping they use some brain cells here. Say so sucker punch turn one, which isn't the play. Yeah. Okay, so if they protect, it would be after us. Oh, oh my I, god. I. Hello? <laughs> Sir? Okay. We should just assume our opponent has never played Pokemon before and then uh, just play <laughs> Why did he sucker punch there? In. in, in Okay. Well, we lost. Like. Um, some guy who clicked sucker punch in Queenly Majesty. Why? Um. Okay. We have a win con. Do you know what it's called? He Protect sucker. The he go and. Nah, the, the wing con is let's hope he sucker punches the Solgaleo for some reason. And what? Rock? And, and then we just rock slide and aura wheel. Aura wheel the left side? Yeah, even though it's probably not going to KO. 
I think Rock Slide and Aura Wheel will after the minus one. Yeah, you're right. All right, let's hope. And they did it. Yeah, it's more Pico now. Uh, yeah, I don't know Pico. why they sucker punched last turn. Because they don't know how to play the game. But it ends up we play a video game that you actually get, you actually can win games without knowing what you're doing. That That is kind of unfortunate. <laughs> why do we play this game? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what if he didn't bring Kyogre? What 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 if he didn't bring Kyogre and also he doesn't have Wicked Blow? It honestly, it's very possible at this point. It anything's possible. All right, hopefully I'm gonna say it. he doesn't have it. He doesn't yeah, just, have it. Just hope he sucker keeps sucker. That's the Wincon. He could if he was really good, he would click Tailwind and Wicked Blow. I mean, not even that good, just good enough. And then goes for taunt for some reason. There's yeah, some, or the icy taunt. Wind. Please, please taunt. <laughs> icy, icy wind, taunt. icy wind also. <laughs> icy wind, sucker punch, and then maybe we have a chance. Dang it. Uh, he technically could click sucker punch still. Yeah, he still could. He CC'd. Ah, uh, God. Someone help me. Wait, does he not? We have to check this guy's team. Oh, he got a crit too. Uh, we got to check this guy's team afterwards. Like, I want to I don't. Why wouldn't you Wicked Blow? I genuinely think he might not have it at this point in the game. Oh my god, Rockslide healed the tornadoes. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's unfortunate. I, I genuinely think there's a there's like a 50-50 chance he actually has Wicked Blow. Let's find out this turn. <laughs> He's not going to show us the team, I bet. Maybe they will. He hasn't clicked it this whole game. Oh boy. I It could be like a, a Galaxy Brain play of I don't want to give you weakness policy. But well, gonna kill us. <laughs> but yeah, at the end, there's no reason not to. Or the Kyogre comes in and clicks any button. Yeah, I, please tell me I can look at this guy's team. Please. He clicks Sucker Punch in Queenly Majesty. Yes, I need to see. See incense. Okay, this, this makes sense. Yeah. This yeah. AV? Or Life Orb? Oh, it has Protect, yeah. Very interesting. Salt Vest. I knew Standard. It. I knew it. He has it. <laughs> Why did he never click it? He didn't want to give us the weakness policy. All right, yeah. All right, let's do one more. Let's try, let's try to go 2-2. Two, two. That guy's definitely played some Dynamax format before. That guy's like, ooh, never give someone a weakness policy, even though I can one-shot it with Wicked Blow? Might as well go for the CC. That was a wacky game. Yeah, it was wacky because he didn't know what Queenly Majesty does. Probably because Sarina wasn't used in Dynamite format. Uh, I think was... it was a little bit in like Series 6, but like not much past that. No, it was Series 6. I, have... I just remember Dynamax, Max Strike, and then you win. That was arguably the worst format. Like Series, series 8 got kind of bad towards the end, but at the beginning it was enjoyable. The yes. whole way through Series 6, I did not have fun. That's very true. But we didn't have to play any tournaments. Yeah. And now we have Calyrex, Shadow Rider. Oh, yeah. So I think we do what we did last time with we'll more Pico and Tay. Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously, they have, like, inner focus Tailwind. However, yeah, that could be a problem. However, if they lead off, like, Calyrex, Crobat, like, we just don't fake out anyways. We just try to get the speed boost. Yes. And we still have a Sash. So yeah. It's not that big a deal. Um... Spectre Solgaleo? I think so. Yeah. It's kind of weird. I lost yeah. a lot of games to Calyrex Shadow and testing, but... Yeah, we all do. Pokemon we all do. <laughs> Pokemon, it has to do with the Pokemon being broken, not necessarily. What we need is a normal ghost type. That's yeah, I know. Mean. Resists everything. Or like immune to three things. Yeah. It's got to have bad stats, but it has to be like somewhat good at just staying in and clicking <laughs> like Snarl something oh they went with crobat okay uh yeah i'm i'm fine with this we're just gonna fake out the the insane you know has to be the insane yeah uh but we don't want it we don't want to kill yeah no we don't because we don't want him to get a free switch no, i mean stopping tantrum won't ko here yeah you can do it because damage is nice yeah like, he's just going to Tailwind anyways, I would imagine. Yeah. We just had to stall some of those. We probably want to switch Entei out, too, to 
um, at least something else to stall some turns. Yeah. All right. Um, not, that's not going to KO on the next turn, I think. He's also safety go... goggles, so. You want to see a, a really crazy play? I'm down at this point. <laughs> at this point, tell me what it is. <laughs> Dark or wheel the right side. You know what? I agree. All right, and then you, you can Spectre. go. You can go Spectre here, yeah, just because it can live in Astro Barrage if that ends up being the case. Yeah. We do need to kill the Crobat eventually. And yeah, just to make boost. sure he isn't perpetually faster than us. Yeah. Parting shot. Brave Bird? Okay. Okay, that's fine. It's going to be into Pico, maybe. Uh, Spectre. No, nice. Well, not nice, but nice. Nice enough. Nice enough. Oh my god. We're still faster. That means he's has like no speed. Almost no investment, yeah. Like I run relatively low speed in Cinder. I run like twenty eight, but at the very least I'm faster than things under Tailwind then, you know? <sighs> oh he's Figgy? Wait, watch him get confused. Dang it. I was really hoping. Never, I, I was kinda I was a little hopeful. Well um we I mean, lose our more Pico now. Let me think. Um, I have an idea. I have I have a somewhat sussy idea. Check this out. I'm gonna mud okay. shot here because I'm genuinely trying not to make the Incineroar get KO'd, but I want damage. And I'm gonna sack our Spectre to a Brave Bird. And if okay. everything goes right next turn, we can just click Rock Slide with Sogalio and hope for the best. Bing. They might break for that slot, though. Yeah, I was actually trying to sack the, the Spectre, though. Um, I mean, we're probably not going to KO if he Flare Blitzes us we go down. They're probably going to Flare Blitz. Yeah. Because they didn't click Parting Shot turn one. Darkest so. there? That's fine. Yeah. Oh, my. Okay. Uh, We have a chance now. Uh, nay. Because we have Scarf uh, Entei, which can bulldoze. So I'm going to go Sogalio here. Yes. Yeah, we just need to get rid of... Actually, no, we have a genuine chance if we if we can uh, KO both back. of these mons. Yeah. Because this is, I think, the last turn of Tailwind. Let me see. If not, we just so, don't protect. So I have a, I have yeah, a it's the last turn of Tailwind. I okay, think we okay. literally just... Switch, switch more Pico here. Because um, they're going to kill more Pico, and if they switch into Brave Bird, then our... Our dog will live, and then we'll be faster, and they won't get a tail end. Yeah, and I just rock slide. Yes. Slide those rocks. Yeah, and that just guarantees we always get Entei in, which is kind of the point. Yes. Otherwise, we'd have to bet on them not doubling Solgaleo, which, I don't know, maybe they have, like, Super Fang. Yeah, uh, I don't think it gets it anymore. That's why no one uses it anymore. Okay, uh, I'll take that. We don't need to protect for the rest of the game, pretty much. If this okay, goes right. Slide. This is going to kill Instant. Okay, now the thing is, what we might have to do here is crunch the Crobat if, if Calyrex comes in. Yeah. We might have to hard Alternatively, we could crunch the Calyrex. Oh, it's Regieleki. Oh my god, the speed control. Okay. Um, I think... You, can, you don't have to crunch anymore because you can switch out Entei. Um, yeah. So... No, no, you don't have to switch out. You don't have to switch out here. Yeah. Um, let me think. We can kill the Crobat so it doesn't get Tailwind. That's the only play. So we want to yeah. play with it, I think. And then we just... We can hit Solgaleo with either a CC or a Rock Slide. I think that our play... We I have to... CC. I think CC. Yeah. Because we if, if it's not Sash, we want it to die. Yeah. Watch your web. And they're faster, so... Is Crobat faster that does than so much, naturally? too. Oh, he crit us, too. This is game over if he clicks the tailwind button. He clicks the tailwind button. No, I believe. You want to know what I believe? Believe that we can stall out that many turns of tailwind? No. <laughs> That's absurd. I believe our opponent will forfeit somehow. <laughs> and where I come from, we take those. Oh. That's a. That's surprising. There is no mathematical way we win if they just click Astro Raj every single turn. What if they didn't bring it? Oh, there he is. <laughs> yeah, when Scarf Entei is still not fast enough to beat 
stupid Reggie Lecky. That's We're also taunted. Yeah. So we can't protect. Uh, are you ready for this big brain play? Um, we're banded, right? So we think. can't even click Flare Blitz. Yeah. I mean, we're locked in the Flare Blitz, so. I don't How think do I do any, this? There's, any, I don't, there's no way to do it. There's Hopefully a way. That. There's got to be a way. <laughs> you get. You can put an amoeba behind the controller and tell them to click Astral Garage and they will win the game. Reggie, like you protected. Maybe they'll protect you and that stalls the turn at Tailwind. Yeah, oh, there it is. They didn't. But now we can fake out the Reggie Lucky and kill it. So there's that. Yo, the flex. I guarantee you they're bad at the game, and this is not going to be Life Orb. Go to bet. Any bets? They got they got a double crit. So that's yeah, not cool. that it mattered, but like... It kind of mattered, because the Electro have crit means we don't live that one. Yeah. They're not Life Orb. I think. Oh, I know. I know. Yeah, they're not. What? Yep. Oh my god, I swear to god. Y y you know how that Reggie Lucky took that close combat like a champ? Yes. Well, what if it's not Sasha Lucky? Yeah, probably not. What if we're facing like one of the few um What if we're facing we one of the few out. light clay holdouts? No. no, I'm just I, I don't care anymore. This is our only out. Them protecting the Calyrex and missing an Electro and then we get a speed boost. I had to go for it regardless. <laughs> That was literally the only way we had a chance is if they threw by protecting Calyrex and missed an Electroweb. But we wanted to kill. All right. I want to see that Reggie Alecki. I think it's actually a bulky one. Then again, I'm not familiar with Solgaleo Calyrex. For all I know, Reggie Alecki can easily tank a, a close combat from it. So, Solgaleo just does one ninth the damage of uh, Zacian. So that's how you do the calcs. <laughs> yeah, they're not bulky at all. They were Sash. They were. What was the? What was the other thing? What if they were like leftovers, Cali? Spell tag. Okay, that makes oh, sense. Oh my god! How does yeah, that we, make sense? Um, just the fact that like they the sash was occupied. That's like the only other item besides life orb that makes sense on Calyrex. I have seen leftovers too. Why would you do black classes, Urshifu, and life orb Calyrex? <laughs> uh, that was kind of rough. It was rough. It was it was a little rough, but we have those days. Like I had yeah. a I had a rough session with my team last week. More Pico had fun. More Pico did have fun. More Pico at the very least did stuff every single game. I think honestly, if I had to redo the team, I would have done Whimsicott over Sarina and then just had Tailwind. These teams just brainlessly clicked Tailwind and then we lost. It's like it was like we were playing Dynamax. Yeah, yeah. I will say but, the speed control was kind of rough the whole time. Yeah, and then, of course, when we're playing a guy with Tailwind, we're about to kill their Tailwind, and then it has an Alecky. <laughs> yeah. Crobat? Crobat kind of interesting. Maybe we'll look into that next week. I do like me some Crobat. Yeah. Anyways, some if you guys that. enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, check out the straw poll if you want to vote for this team, or if you want to vote for the team we're using on Bryce's channel, we're about to go record that video. That'll be linked in the description down below. And yeah, anything you want to say, Bryce? Yeah. More Pico is the best Pokemon ever, and I hate that these players beat us because they didn't respect More Pico. No respect for More Pico, but yeah, have a nice night, guys.